This workbench has given me more space to work in my shop and selling these plants has helped my income. But there's just one problem. It wobbles, like really wobbles. And I just received this one star review on Etsy and a message saying that the bench is unusable. It didn't go quite as planned when I tried to fix it, but luckily the solution came from two YouTube comments. Let me explain. When I got the one star review and then the message right after saying that he was unhappy with the bench, it hurt my pride a little bit, but I didn't get defensive because he had a point. The bench was really wobbly. And although this is a DIY workbench and it's not a hardwood hand tool workbench that's meant for hand sawing or hand planning your workpiece, I still wanted to fix it. And if this person was unhappy, I'm sure there were other people that were unhappy as well. I first set out to improve the bottom support piece and because of its design, it doesn't hold the legs in place very well. And because I have issues, before I could work on this piece, I had to cut the rounded corners off on the table saw and then plane both sides and then sand both faces of this piece and then sand each side and then break the sharp corners with some sandpaper so that I wouldn't cut a new one, of course. And when doing this, you can really see how much the table wobbles. Then I measured so I can cut a notch in the exact spots on both sides. And I really thought that this was going to mostly fix the issue and hold the legs really steadily in place. But as you'll see in a second, I ran into issues almost immediately. And after this first piece cracked, I naively thought, oh, I'll just glue it back together with some CA glue and wood glue. And that held together for about six minutes. And then right after, as I was testing this out, I got a crack in the other side, which I shouldn't have been surprised about. But I still thought with some CA glue and fire in my heart, this piece was going to be the key to my success. And then this happened. And I knew this design was totally toast, but I still wanted to see if it stayed together, would it hold the legs in place? And the answer is definitely, absolutely not. And part of me was actually relieved that I could keep the same support piece that I already had, but it was back to the drawing board. Okay, wouldn't it be crazy if all I needed to do was tighten the leg hardware with a socket wrench and that totally fixed the wobble? I was actually really surprised how much it helped. It didn't completely fix the issue, but it was a big improvement. I clamped two bottom support pieces for some extra rigidity, and I thought this was gonna be it, this was gonna solve my problem. And I was surprised how it almost did nothing. And if that did almost nothing, moving these support pieces higher to the top of the leg structures did absolutely nothing. Now, if you're paying attention, you'll notice that I've only bought three two by fours, which means I've spent a total of $10.50 on this video, which is a different strategy than Drew Witt over at Witworks, who spends thousands of dollars on some of his videos. But maybe that's why he gets a lot more views than I do. Anyways, at this point in my quest to fix the wobble, I remembered I got two comments on YouTube talking about cross braces. One of them talked about triangulation, which I didn't really know what it meant, but I thought triangles, maybe a diagonal cross brace would help. At the time, I was getting a lot of negative comments, so I wasn't very receptive to their feedback, but I thought this might be the key to fix the issue. So I made some sweet triangles with these two by fours, and I thought, hopefully this will work because I do not want to spend any more money. Ooh, okay. I want to see if it would work with just one of these diagonal cross braces. It's pretty good. Okay, I caved and bought some wing nuts to see if those would hold the legs in place, but they did not. It was a terrible idea. But if you've made it this far in the video, you're used to those by now. In total, I've spent about $12 on this video with the 2x4s and the hardware. So help me get a lot of views so we can show everyone out there that you do not have to have any Festool tools to be successful on YouTube. 
Okay, I don't know how that got in there and I'm actually just holding that track saw for a friend, but at least I don't use Rubio Monaco like every other YouTuber. Okay, so the workbench. I'm actually really glad that I only needed to use one diagonal cross brace because I want this build to be as accessible as possible and only needing to buy one more two x four should not be an issue for most people. The best part about this build without a question is that when it folds up into the wall, there is so much more room for activities. And yes, we did just become best friends. That's not going anywhere. I really do my best to accept constructive feedback and not get defensive as much as possible because if it truly is constructive, it has the potential to really improve my business and my life. The trick is knowing when the feedback is constructive and when it's not. I'll answer a few questions I get asked a lot about this bench. Yes, the two bolt gate latches are plenty strong to hold the workbench against the wall. No, the legs never swing out from the wall on their own. And the reason the two by fours look so good in this build is because I have issues and I planned all of them before I started building. Be kind and be awesome.